Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Six Arc magazines. So I've been testing these Geisley magazines. I think so far these are probably uh, the best option. So I'll just talk through uh, the different sizes they have and kind of how they relate. I think you know you can't really get a good concept of how big the magazine is just from the picture. So we'll just do some compare and contrast here. So the first one here, uh, this is their 15 round magazine. Uh, I do have a little mag pole on the bottom just to kind of protect the mag when I'm dropping it, uh, but I still think you get a good idea of the size of it. So the 15 round six arc and a 20 round you know, GI mag, they are basically uh, the exact same size. And we'll see, you know, the 20 round P mag is still a little bit bigger uh, than the 15 round six arc mag. So think about you know 15 round mag, basically in the same form factor as a 20 round mag. That's what you're getting with the six arc mag. Now the 20 round mag, this one was kind of hard to you know, conceive how big it is. So this is about the same size as a uh, 20 round P mag with plus five extension. So it is pretty significantly longer uh, than a standard GI 20 round magazine. And we'll see, it's still shorter than you know a 30 round PMAG. So I think this is you know a pretty interesting size. This is probably what everyone wants to use uh, for most applications is a 20 round magazine, uh, but it is bigger than a conventional uh, 20 round mag. So it's kind of like its own uh, size. Now the the 30 round Geisley mag. It's a very slight curve. You know, I think that what is appealing uh, for this magazine to people is that it is, you know, a full 30 rounds. You know, it is reliable and it doesn't have that kind of like banana curve profile of the Duramag. So the Duramag was designed uh, around the 762 by 39 round, so it has that very dramatic curve. Uh, so far, you know, these 30 round mags are working well for me. Uh, there are a few hiccups I've had when going mag supported, and I think that's just you know the tolerance stacking between the round, a lot of pressure on the magazine, you know all that. So just keep that in mind. Now 30 round Geisley mag for six arc. It is it is longer than a 30 round P mag. We'll see that, and we'll pull out a 30 round P mag with the mag pod is just about the same length, right? So really it isn't too big overall. I mean, I think most guys are gonna have, you know, a mag pod or two on their kit. And then we'll show it in comparison to a 40 round P mag. And we'll see it is shorter than a 40 round P mag. And of course it is shorter than a 40 round P mag with a plus five extension. So this is longer. You know, than your typical 30 round magazine, uh, but it really isn't you know super crazy big. It does look that way on the website, but I think you know once you get it, you start you know comparing it to, to other stuff. It really isn't uh, overly long. One thing I have found though is that you know the Dura mags they are very reliable. They have that curve that, that you know, some people just don't like it. You know I get it. That's that's fine. You can do whatever you want. Uh, the 20 round Dura mag though because of the curve, it will sit lower uh, in the gun than a 20 round Geisley mag. So we take our rifle here, try not to disturb anything. So I am one click out on my Harris bipod and I am still resting on the pistol grip, right? I have clearance there with a 20 round Dura mag. However, even without the uh, mag pull the 20 round Geisley mag it's going to sit on the magazine just because it ends up being a little longer profile because there is no curve does that really matter uh, very very rarely I think is that going to make a difference because I've seen very few times where I'm actually sitting at only uh, one click out usually I'm at least two or three clicks out so not that big of a deal but if you're you know, getting in elevated positions, you know, looking down, trying to get super, super low. Maybe this Duramag 20 is the way to go. 
or we just give up five rounds and go with the Geisley 15-round uh, magazine. I think you know the Geisley mags are definitely like the, the the prime product. They're the most expensive. You know the Dur mags are working fine for me, uh, but I think that this curve, you know, while some people think it's unsightly, for me it just starts to introduce issues uh, with fitting in mag pouches that, that is on plate carriers and it just makes your uh, extraction of that magazine from a belt mounted pouch just a little bit weird. So the 26 round curve mag, you know, it's fine, it works, it's just that that curvature starts to complicate things, I don't want to complicate things, I'd rather just go with a straight Geisley uh, and I'm actually pretty fine with their 20 round mag. You know, I'd buy some of these, I'd buy a Geisley 30 round and I'd, I'd be happy from there. So, guys, any questions about these magazines, please let me know. Uh, again, highly recommend the Geisley mags. I recommend the Dura mags. You know, figure out which one fits what you want to do with it. Uh, and good luck out there. Thanks.